Innovation Management Case Analysis Facebook. First, it's important to know that innovation can be defined as the introduction of something new. It can be a new idea, a new product, method, or device. Also, innovation is often viewed as the application of better solutions that brings novelty to a specific market. In the business world, innovation takes place through the provision of more effective products, processes, services, technologies, or business models. There are 10 types of innovations that are distributed in three different categories. First is configuration. These types of innovation are focused on the innermost workings of an enterprise and its business system. In here we got profit model, network, structure, and process. The second category is offering. These types of innovation are focused on an enterprise core product or service or a collection of its products and services. Here we got product performance and product system. And the third one is experience, that these types of innovation are focused on more customer facing elements of an enterprise and its business system. In this one we got service, channel, brand and customer engagement. Now, talking a little bit about Facebook, he's an American online social media and social networking service company based in Menlo Park, of California. Facebook is a popular free social networking website that allows registered users to create profiles, upload photos and videos, send messages, and keep in touch with friends and family and also colleagues. Nowadays, the site is available in 37 different languages and in many countries of the world. The website was launched on February 4 of 2004 by Mark Zuckerberg, along with fellow Harvard colleague, students, and roommates Eduardo Savarin, Andrew McCollum, Dustin Moskowitz, and Chris Hughes. Okay, so I identified that Facebook is a product system innovation. So, a product system innovation are rooted in how individual products and services connect or bundle together to create a robust and scalable system. Product system innovation can include offerings that you don't own or produce. In fact, it's often more rewarding and a lot more fun to find ways for others to create products and services that add value to yours. So I think that Facebook has these characteristics. Also, why is Facebook a product and innovation? I think that the focus of Facebook is to be able to provide a number of additional services or products around its main product. Also, combining products with each other to create something better. This type of product also generates network effects. So Facebook has a marketplace that allows members to post, read and respond to classified ads. Also it comes with groups that allows members who have common interests to find each other and interact. Facebook also gives you the chance to post events that allows members to publicize an event and invite guests and track who plans to attend. Also, you can have pages that allows members to create and promote a public page built around a specific topic and presence of technology. This allows members to see which contacts are online and chat with them. Okay, so I identified four tactics of Facebook that relate to the 10 types of innovation. First is product bundling. This is to put together several products for sale as one combined offering. The second one is product service platforms. These develop systems that connect with other pattern products and services to create a holistic offering. The third one is extensions and plugins. This allows additional from internal or third party resources that add functionality. And the last one is modular system 
that provide a set of individual components that can be used independently but gain utility with when it's combined. Okay, so how Facebook does this? First, it's important to take into account that it is the largest social network on the planet with over a 7.0 billion users. Facebook products include profile, news, feed, messenger, group, events, video, photos, search, pages, and uh, one that is very important is Facebook for Business. Okay, we can see this in, in some activities that Facebook allows users to do. The first one is Facebook Messenger. This is an instant messenger app by Facebook that lets the users with Facebook accounts to chat with their friends or family. And this can be used in a mobile or through the website. The second one is Facebook Marketplace. And the marketplace uh, makes it easy to buy and sell in your area or city. The third one is Facebook Media that explore how Facebook can help to expand and grow for an audience. The other one is Facebook Business that gives you the latest, the latest news, advertising types, best practices and case studies for using Facebook to meet your business goals. And the last one is Facebook Ads. This allows users to create campaigns and put them into circulation using very simple self-service tools and track their performance with easy to read reports. Okay, so um, these five activities or benefits that Facebook allow users to do are the ones that in which the ones that in which Facebook apply the tactics I mentioned before. So what is the future of Facebook? Years from now, Facebook will follow us wherever we go and will interact with it through voice commands and via argument reality devices. Facebook will be integrated throughout our homes, cars, and offices, through a range of appliances and screens, and will be the dominant platform powering virtual reality experience. Also, I think that Facebook will keep us connected with what's happening around the world and among our friends, but the service will be more deeply woven into our lives. Okay, to conclude, I think that users are critical for Facebook business, so I think that they will keep constantly innovating to ensure that the users continue sharing personal content on its platform, will be the key in driving revenues for this company.